holiness that Allah Lama sent her in, uh, in Newbury, in the Which is a year. Finally, the embassy, the American embassy, asked who was doing it right. Everybody had it together. How would it come to the price? And they, they got the letter and then called the Dalai in New Delhi. So we can show us all the hearing today. Now, you know, every region is that and begin to sort of make this a political issue with regard to the campaigns that are run around the country. That's been an historical way that we have dealt with issues in this country with regard to human rights and religious freedom. And I would urge, urge you to do that. Having said that, I just saw the story in the Wall Street Journal, June 7th, said Chinese travel agencies announced on Wednesday that foreign travelers are no longer allowed to visit Tibet. This blanket ban in Beijing is the response to the flood of bad news from the region in, in recent weeks. It is almost like that the Chinese government, keep in mind, Hu Xintao, there's no single Tibetan family left behind which was not affected by the atrocities and the ministry of the Chinese government. Of the six million Tibetans this morning, that would amply prove that China has committed a great crime against the Tibetan people and nation. However, the Chinese government always used to claim that Tibetans are very happy under their rule and uh, that the Communist Party alone can represent the true wishes of the Tibetan people. I wish I wish the claims made by the Communist authorities are true. In fact, the very reason why we have gathered here is to prove that the Tibetans are very more happy under the Chinese rule. Such a um, critical crowd here, and I say critical because there are many Chinese, many Tibetans, the people who have true ownership of this movement here, the people who have authority, and the people who have power to make a change. It's wonderful that we're together, but as Mr. Wolf said, it's not enough that we are here. But especially in China, uh, and frankly, and this isn't a partisan thing, uh, this administration has been so able, absent without age, as you know, is a, is, a, is a term of art used when a military man or woman uh, disappears and, and, and they're, they're just not at their duty station. But we have a situation now, we have a situation now uh, where we have reduced it to a, 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 a conversation with mid-level individuals who have no input as to what the hierarchy does or says. Um, and the predictable results are lack of translation. Cracked down. Many people were put into prison. And the first one is Jian Pao Manang. He, he was a, a professor of the 1989, the last in Lhasa. And he was put into prison. So, We'll ask him to tell his story in the local camera.